Hi YouTube, it's Mike here from Max Movie Reviews. Today I'm going to be doing a double build today. Um, sorry I haven't posted anything. I've, I've put on Facebook what I've said. Um, but yeah, sorry for sort of the, the late videos, but I've just been sort of had a bad time recently. But you don't need to know about that. You're here to see the reviews. Um, but today I'm going to be reviewing uh, Captain Phillips, which I'll put a thing in the corner. I'll put it that side. And then the other film is... Uh, Jackass presents uh, Bad Grandpa, which I saw last night. Um, Captain Phillips, I saw last week. I was going to do the review show last week, but yeah, going to review in uh, Captain Phillips first. Um, this film is basically it's a biopic based on the merchant uh, mariner uh, Captain Richard Phillips, um, who was taken hostage by Somalian pirates in the uh, Indian Ocean during the MERS Alabama hijacking in 2009, Captain Phillips, he uh, controls this big, um, you know, ship and um, he uh, basically gets captured by a load of these Simonian pirates and it's based on a true story because obviously it's a biopic. It's directed by Paul Greengrass who directed the Bourne films which um, most of you should know um, but basically it's, you know, the, the plot is them, like, uh, the plot is basically them going along the, you know, along the, the sea and then they get basically captured by a load of these Samoa pirates and then bad stuff happens from from then on. It's, this film's really strong, but I think one of my sort of gripes that I've got with it is a director. I mean, he's, he's a good director, Paul Greengrass, but because he sort of because he, he uses a lot of the handheld, he uses a handheld camera and it's all really shaky. I mean, that works in sort of maybe in an action film, but I think it, if, if this film would have been perfect if it, I think it was if it had a different director, um, maybe someone like David Fincher. I mean, he's he's my favourite director, but I don't know. I think he would have sort of fitted that. Maybe it'd been too stylish if he if he'd have filmed, if he'd have, if he'd have made it instead. But it'd have been a lot stronger, I reckon. I mean, that's the only gripe that I've got of it. I mean, everything else. I mean, the um, the acting as well. The acting is just absolutely incredible by uh, Tom Hanks. I mean, I've seen a lot of films with him in, and he's just like the, there's a scene at the end where he just gets so emotional, and it's like you, you know you you feel for him because all the tra the traumatic times he went through during the film, you know, you, you feel sort of sorry for him. Uh, everyone else in the film, or the other actors, they're pretty strong as well. I mean, there's only a few people that you're going to know in this film. Um, obviously, Tom Hanks, um, and the main the main guy uh, who plays Muse, I think it is. Yeah, he, he the main guy, the main bad guy in it. Uh, Muse, his name is. Um, he's he's pretty good in it as well. He sort of um, he bosses quite a lot of his crew around. Um, about four four members of his crew, so he's you know he's quite sort of he's very dominant and he's he's a good sort of he's a good he's a good uh, uh, antagonist. So that's a really good thing. The editing as well, the editing was good. I mean, because the editing and directing is both sort of similar, but the they're very sort of it's very quick. It's sort of very quick to the point. Um, you know, it, it dives straight in it into in, into it basically with the, with the story and that. That was um, that was Captain Phillips. Uh, just sort of brief there. I'm gonna give Captain Phillips four stars out of five. And the second film, I'll put it on this side. I'll put the poster on this side. Is uh, Jackass presents uh, Bad Grandpa. I mean, I was really looking forward to this. I saw the trailer for this about three or four months ago, and it looked quite interesting. I mean, it's made by the people who did Jackass, uh, Jeff Tremaine. Um, who did all the episodes for the, the TV series and all the films. I love Jackass, I love the TV show, um, I find it really funny, like, all the films as well. Uh, but this, looking forward to the most because it sort of, it changed from the sort of, it, it was sort of the same, it's the same but it's different. I mean, it's got, I mean, the Jackass films and the, Jack, the TV show, obviously it's not got a plot, it's just them dicking around with different stunts and stuff, but this has actually got a plot, but Basically, the plot is um, it involves an 86-year-old man uh, named Irvin Zisman. Uh, Irving Zisman. There's so confusing names. 
and uh, he's basically a spin-off. He's a character in the Jackass series, but it's, it's basically like a spin-off in a way, or oh, it is a spin-off. And it, it it tells a story of his character and his grandson uh, Billy as they basically they uh, they do a road trip across America to find uh, Billy's dad, who's a bit of a he's a bit of a dick, takes drugs and stuff. But um, like the, the plot's very sort of you know the plot's very simple. There. It's basically just a load of it's basically like a Jackass episode split into a into a film basically. That's what it is. I mean, it's just it's just them dicking about basically. Um, but some of the, um, but it's it's actually really really funny. I mean, I saw this last night um, with my mate Sam, and we sort of got in there late. But I think we missed only like a couple of minutes of it. But like the the comedy is like really strong here. I mean, it's 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 sort of dumb fun. But like that's what you expect from a film like this. I mean, he's you know he's he's, he's just dick they're just dicking around basically because it's a hidden camera show. The people's reactions are really funny as well. Like there's this bit where they because uh, his wife dies right at the start, and uh, there's this bit where like they 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 get yeah, and these two people to like carry uh, the dead body, his wife's dead body, and they're like, oh, you just helped us do something illegal. <laughs> like one one of the dudes, uh, this black guy, you should see his face. Like his face is just priceless, and like one one of the pranks that they do like uh, I won't explain it because it'll, it'll sort of give it away but it's just like the most surprising one out of all of them that made you laugh like the most I think that made you laugh out loud the most but if you want to go and see something really sort of dumb and stupid and not something to concentrate on just go and see this um, isn't you know it's not perfect not every single sort of there's, there's one scene where it's quite embarrassing to watch and you're like oh you're cringing you're like trying to look away it's like oh god but um you know it's not perfect but if you want to dumb fun then go and see it with your mates i think it's, it's probably a perfect film to go and see it with your mates i'm going to give jackass presents bad grandpa i'm going to give it three out of five stars that's that's it for this week i mean it's sort of short and sweet hopefully i'll be watching death proof next week because my my mate Simon wants me to watch it, so I'm, I'm going to have to watch it. But yeah, if, if you guys want to comment in the section below, like, any, you know, anything you want to sort of mention, anything about my reviews, I mean, I've sort of, each week I've had the sort of, uh, it's tied in with the, you know, the, the genre that I've done, or the film that I've done. But this, you can sort of comment if you have any sort of, um, cons and pros sort of you know if you agree with my reviews if you don't if they think they're rubbish if they think they're good just comment and uh yeah i'll, I'll see you guys next week anyway bye the